it's a tough ride for kids today. Yeah. It is a very, very, very tough ride with new challenges oh. that we never had to experience. Dude, I, I, my oldest daughter is on the spectrum, and you know, so we we started seeing, uh, you know, this anxiety and this disconnection, and it was she developed, you know, uh, these ticks. You know, I mean, like really bad, where she started like hitting herself. You know, like oh, couldn't no. uncontrollable. And she's a big, strong girl. You know. Uh, she was about, I think, 16, 15 at the time. And, you know, I remember, I mean, it was so scary for me that I had to lay on her at night and hold her down. And, I, you know, I, I'm pretty sure she was hitting so hard and she's apologizing. She's like, I'm sorry. You know, like, I'm doing, and I'm like, oh what are you kidding God. me? It was just, it broke my heart. Oh so we brought God. her to the hospital. We went to the hospital to find out what, we didn't even know what this was. And, uh, the, you know, we, where it was coming from. Uh, so they, they got her to calm down and, and uh, she was still ticking and stuff. And I talked to the neurologist. Is that what it is? I guess, I don't know, the yeah. doctor, you know, and I go, what is this? What can we do? And, and, and he said, he basically said, ah, she's developed these ticks. It's like, you know, this is something you're just going to have to learn to deal with for, you know, you're going to have a child like this and you have to prepare yourself that you and your wife are going to have to, you know, deal with this for the rest of your life this way. And I was like, there's got to be a different way. He's like, there's no way of really, we don't know, you know. And I just, I went, oh, man, it, it crushed me. So it was like me and my wife were like, what do we do? And my wife read this book. She was just doing all this crazy research. And she found this book, Disconnected Kids. And it was by Dr. Robert Melillo. So, you know, I, I, I got involved with him. I called him. And he literally took my daughter. He goes, I know what this is. He goes, it's okay. Uh, he, he says, uh, I can work with her. And we we were just out of, like, we were lost. We didn't know what to do. And I mean, I mean, I mean, violent, you know, it was like, oof. Um, so we took it to, to this doctor and within two weeks, no drugs, anything, two weeks, ticks were gone. And he said, they're going to still be there. They're going to come up every once in a while, but he fixed her, man. And I'm like, whoa, Uh, it blew my mind, man. It's like, so I, I was like, I just want to give other parents hope and 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 i i knew another guy who had a daughter who's severely autistic and uh you know she was nonverbal and you know you know violent too and he said he 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 goes i will and he worked with them and and she's getting so much better and and now and speaking and uh it's an amazing thing this guy does he's great how's he doing it what is he doing I, I I don't know at all. You know, he's he he works with the, the brain waves and and um, again, not a doctor, but there's no you know medication in there uh, involved, which I, was very important because that's what they were recommending at the hospital. Right. Just put her on some medication. I'm like, and turn her into a zombie. Exactly. Yeah. I go. I can't do that. And she's so much better now. She still has the ticks every once in a while, you know, but she's great. She's connected. He gets her connected. He does all these like brain things, and he works with the you know and how it all ties into the the the, the motor. You know, whatever that is. The, it's so fascinating. It's it, it, it is. 